Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing Frieden. And the last video, um, <laughs> out of the guillotine, let her end. She made a bet that she couldn't win. But she wrote a check that she couldn't cash with her life. And that was it. <laughs> so now we'll see what the aftermath of that is. And if there's any more demons in the area. Okay, so she's doing a prayer for, I guess, all the people who were under Aura's control. I wonder what they mean by that. Maybe it's a, like not doing flashy magic helps her conceal it easier. So it's like an easier way to get rid of demons. Yeah, good for them for completing the first mission. <laughs> she said she'd be more impressed if they want her. Oh, I guess that's his sons. She's had a really good tea that day. Oh, I wonder what the reward is going to be. Oh, she wanted the banner. Oh, <laughs> it's fake. What? Oh, okay. So the barrier magic in that book is different from what's protecting their city. Huh, so 80 years ago. Okay, I almost insulted the king. <laughs> the executioner was ready to swing that sword. Oh, and he did the same thing. Oh, and he did that. He did that. That's funny. Ah, okay, so he's just cutting trees. Ah, okay, so it's something that's changed. <laughs> he was terrified. Okay, so there'll be some kind of festival or celebration. <laughs> Puffy, I was wondering if they were going to think he was dead. Um, uh, well, so in music that you guys will not hear. <laughs> I like how you can tell that it's, like, gotten colder. Like, they all have their own jackets. That's pretty cool, the cold detail. Oh, are these high demons? Well, Fleetin's obviously a first test mage. Oh, so you have to get given this certification. How? What, Bangla? How in the world did she get it done, but Frieden doesn't have one? I also, she doesn't have a license. What's up with this guy? Oh, is that how mages used to show their rank or something? Outburst? 
I guess it's lucky it's, um, on the way. The way that they were describing it makes it seem like, um, you can only do one certification per alien. So how Fern has her third level of certification, you could only do that in that city and to get that first level one, you have to go to this place. It's almost like she spun that around on her, like, don't you know? <laughs> Are you that sex? Oh, I think that they would make, like, a shelter or something. Storm came in really quickly. Couldn't he make like a magic giggle? I guess they don't want to stop, but they. <laughs> Emergency shelter at the foot of the mountain. Um, it's still there for eight years. Oh. Wouldn't it be wild if they come upon a demon? Some dude exercising? What was that about? <laughs> Is he an elf? I wasn't sure would be seeing it anywhere else. 300 years. What are the odds of that? Well, he's aware of the place already. <laughs> we have delusional. This is how I keeping him warm. That's hilarious. <laughs> Body warmth. Kind of reminds me of uh, Sukuma. That haircut and those marks under his eyes. Oh, is he somebody in particular? We did see a flash rock of her village. Wow, so they're getting a little cozy with him.
<laughs> Training. Are they gonna eat fast? What kind of eggplants? Oh, well, I guess it's time to. Oh, they didn't eat the rabbit. Okay. If he's a monk, I wonder if he has a stance against, like, anti violence. Six months, oh my god. Mm, Sehipala's human religions? Oh, so he used to be a hero? Or something? <laughs> I wonder if that means if he was always a monk. I'm guessing he wasn't. That's interesting when you think about it. Humans with the short lives still kind of look to religion to find some kind of answer or whatever. So imagine living for hundreds of years and still not having like the direct answer. I could see how that would lead you to become like super religious. You would just have, like, hundreds of years to think about <laughs> why you were there. <laughs> the meaning of life, etc. Mean <laughs> is the goddess, like, the overall religion of this world? Oh, he knows about that. That's interesting. He, um, suspected he can have a child one day. And if there's fun. Oh. I guess she has faith that she'll see them in this heaven. Oreo. It's pretty wild how we were introduced to you. Such a unique character, and he obviously has some kind of crazy backstory, but. I wonder if we'll ever learn it. So this is a good episode, and there's also lots of um, good questions about life and faith, and it's interesting to think about when it comes to, like, a species of people who live for such a long time. <clears throat> it wasn't too much of a crazy episode, but it was still interesting. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.